Uh, okay, here we go. My gosh. All right, I've been wanting to play this game for a long time. Um, okay, I'm just gonna leave all these settings alone, I think. Sure. Oh, is Kelly moving again? She's been very, oh no, she's just circling around her bowl again, whatever. All right, so. Just start a new game. I think we should be able to finish this tonight. I've heard it's a little over like two hours long, maybe. So, hi, Magpie. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, sensitivity is quite high. Can I adjust that? Okay, it's a bit better. Uh, oh, is that, can I crouch? No, I don't seem to be able to crouch. It looks like a picture of our family or something. Are we down here alone? How many, like, there's only one sleeping bag. There are a bunch of bags, though. Surely we didn't bring all of these bags. Uh, where's the light coming from? Okay, well, we won't worry about it, I guess. Just mysterious light. Oh, there's light over here, too. All right, we got our uh, HTC Vive headset. Perfect, oof. Those scan lines, actually I'm a bit big, aren't I? Hold on. There we go. It's not take up quite that much. All right, hold left mouse to fire scanner. Cool. So yeah, this is very similar to that uh, other like short game that I played. Um, which I guess was inspired by this one. I think this one came first. Is it? Why is it? Why is it blue? Oh, because it's far away. Okay. I wonder if it was a timing thing. All right. Oh, okay. And we can zoom. We can zoom a lot. So this one doesn't have like multiple modes of firing, I guess, like that other game did. It's a bit of a shame. I kind of liked the uh, full scan feature that that one had going. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know if there was supposed to be like a story set up, like, before this that I was supposed to read, like on the Steam page description or something, <laughs> like, oh, you're looking for the lost, I don't know, kingdom of uh, this guy or whatever, I don't know. We're just in a cave. I don't know. I don't know why, but we are. I guess because we like caves. I like caves. Maybe that's a bit ironic, but I do like caves. Oh, nobody has been as deep as this for thousands of years. Okay, so we're like exploring uh, unexplored, uncharted territory. Utterly alone. No call for help would ever reach the surface. Deep in a cave, no one can hear you scream. My friends all told me I was crazy. My wife couldn't understand my obsession. Okay, I guess we're getting the backstory properly. I had to know if the myths were true. Okay. It's a really cool effect. I love this effect. Oh, maybe it's slippery there. Is there, like, a path up over right here? Kind of looks like there's a, a walkway, but not really, I guess. And you can't crouch, once again. No crouch. Okay, I guess we'll keep going this way. I hope this looks okay on stream. I don't, I don't know what it would look like. Uh, do we want to go this way or that way? I mean, I'm going to assume... Is that a... No. That's not like a structure, right? That's just stalagmites, I think. Oof. Oof. Okay, I'm going to guess that there's not, like, anything too mazy in this game, because... It'll be really hard to navigate. 
But I bet there are some secrets. Why don't we have a flashlight, though? I feel like having a flashlight. Like, this thing is neat and all, but... Oh, hello. This thing is neat, but I feel like having an actual flashlight would probably be the better. Oh. Is that a... Sh wait, wait, what is that? A bridge? Who put these here? Did I put these here? How did I know that they were here? Why can't I, like, see the outline? Um, I guess it's a bridge. What's this? Some kind of post that fell over? Brazier or something? Oh, can I not get around it? Aperture control. Use a mouse wheel. To oh, I can change the. Oh, okay, there we go. I can go really big with it, which I don't think would be very useful. Probably a semi tight beam is a good way. Oh, could this place have been even older than the legends suggested? Uh, maybe. Is there anything across the bridge? The resolution was astonishing. Never before had such a powerful geological scanner been available. Weird spiral here, or is that just the shape of the beams? Is there a thing here? Okay, that goes somewhere. Was there something else back here? Oh. Is there a sprint? No. Or is this just a blocked off section? Okay, yeah, I can't go there. Alright. Oh. What is that? Oh, just more posts or something. I thought it was a person. That squeaky noise is kind of annoying, though. At least it's not too loud. Oh, what's that? Uh, somebody's A posing at me. Hello? Ooh. Are you turning to watch me, or are you, like, just turning weirdly? You're not turning. Wait, no, you are still turning. Wait, is he? Is this an optical illusion or is it actually turning? <laughs> Am I going nuts? <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what to do about that. I thought it would, like, move away or something. He's still there? Seems to be. Okay. Uh. I guess our character has nothing to say about this. It's supposed to be a statue? It's definitely moving, though. Are we supposed to think that it's a statue of some kind in this little, I don't know, amphitheater? Whatever. Here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oof. That all? Okay. 
down again. Oof, that was further than I thought. Okay, keep going, I suppose. Wait. Yeah, I can... is that useful? I guess? I mean, I guess it's good to know that you can do it. I don't know. Um... Hmm. I know this is not like... I know there are a few people who watch sometimes who have epilepsy. I hope that this is not gonna, like, set anyone off. Uh, this kind of seems like the kind of game that would potentially do it. Alright, there's nothing on the- oh, well, there's more bridges, but that's all. I guess we drop down. Uh, can't jump that. Whoop! A little bit of a stutter. And we can't go that way for sure, either. Uh, was there, like, something over here? No? Okay. So every time I see one of these posts, they look vaguely humanoid. Uh... Can I jump this? Ugh. Eh. Am I supposed to go up here? <laughs> I feel like I'm not supposed to go up here, actually. Where else do I go, then? Ugh. Up here? Oh, up here. Okay, stairs. Alright, this is the other bridge, right? Oh no, that's one's taller even. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, oop. Did something break? How would I know if something broke? Will it update? Um, where do I go now? Down there? I guess. Oh! Wait, how would I have- How would I have seen that there already? Are you just gonna keep screaming? How would I have seen that if I hadn't scanned it again? That, uh, that's not how this would work, is it? Whoa! I almost fell there. Is a bad thing happening? No, I mean, nothing bad has happened yet. I mean, I, I don't... I don't think that um, an unknown entity moving around in a cave counts as bad. Um, it could potentially be bad, but it's not bad yet. Maybe they're a friend. They never did iron out all the glitches. Right, see? So it could just be a glitch, I guess. It'd be a weird glitch, but who knows? Maybe it's a Bethesda program. Sometimes you'd see sensor echoes from days earlier. Calibrations turned to ghosts. Okay, so... Sh sure. I don't know if I would be staking my life on this then. Even so, I can never explain everything I saw. Yeah, I think I've flashlight. I think I would just walk around with a flashlight in conjunction with this, you know? That's what I would do. Are there... Okay, it's gonna maybe sound like a dumb question. Are there actually, like, devices like this? Like, this doesn't seem too far-fetched. Um... I don't think you could, like, do it, like, real-time, though, could you? I don't think you would, like, trust your life to something like this. This way? Yeah, I am finally playing this. I was saving it for, you know, October. So, here it is. The first game of 
<laughs> it's the first game of my uh, October 2023 spooky month. got a bunch of games lined up, which I'm probably, once again, not going to have time to do all of them. Uh, oh, another upgrade? Oh, it's on the far side of a cliff, though. How did this stuff get here? No one's been here for thousands of years. How did these end up down here? Why would we, like, come down here, leave valuable equipment, and then... What was that? Sounded like a pigeon. Oh gosh. I assume I can just walk along this. What? What was that? What is that? No, it's supposed to be like more weird. A guy falling, I guess? Multiple guys falling? Historical artifacts. That's what those things are. They're historical artifacts. They're like ancient technology that happens to be perfectly compatible with our brand new scanning device. They also had like, I don't know, USB-C technology to just plug it in. Or alien stuff. Eh, that That's... Sure. Aliens are probably good at like cross-compatibility, right? Uh, okay, can I inch around this? This is just rocks falling. It does kind of sound like like wings rustling, though. Yeah, you just gotta like, you just gotta do that thing where like you know you just gotta s squish your your digits into like however many like if, if the aliens only have like I don't know three digits or whatever you just gotta like kind of put yours together to make it fit in there that's all you gotta do burst scan ooh okay so it's this thing ooh that leaves a weird line I don't like that line oh it's got a charge I see interesting <laughs> Yeah, we, we hope the aliens are cross-compatible, because if not, there's going to be a lot of disappointed people. Uh, I guess I can just drop down? I didn't, like, miss anything back here, did I? I kind of felt like it would make me come around here to get the thing and then go back. But maybe not. Let me just make sure I'm not going to miss something over here. This effect is so cool to, like, see the places that you've been as these weird, like, ghost trails. Uh... So, was there not another way to go over here? I thought I could go down here. Maybe not. Oh, no, that's just a drop. Okay. Never mind. Also, even if aliens are not, like, you know, uh, cross-compatible, like, you know, I'll find a way. <laughs> Lots of people would find a way, me included. Alright, well, I guess we drop. Oop, slip sliding. I sure hope our character has, like, an exit plan to get past all of these one-way drops and stuff we've been doing. Like, personally, I would, I don't know, spike some ropes in place to at least help climb back up. But, uh, what do I know? I'm not an expert spelunker, or... Is there another term for, like, people who study caves? Not a Caveologist. It's another drop. It is. Can I move while this is going? I can. Ooh, kind of funky. 
suicidal. Yeah, I mean, I've heard plenty of uh, real-life horror stories about things that happen in caves. <laughs> I, oof, I do like hanging out in caves. I think caves are really cool. I don't know, maybe it's just some, like, really, I don't know, lizard brain. Oh! We're fine. I meant to do that. Um, I hope I didn't miss anything up there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, some of the stories I hear about people who, like, you know, squeeze into those really tight places and then just end up stuck and stuff. Ugh. Ugh. No, thank you. Oop, yep, another drop. Hup. Hup. It's a very neat break, but I guess that kind of thing happens. Caves are the hungry maws of the earth. Is that true? Again, I'm not a cave scientist, um, but, you know, it sounds not inaccurate. Was it, oh, was it just the thing reset? No, what was that? I do like that one. What's the name of that one? Uh, Creepy Pasta series. There's actually like two separate ones that are based on the same thing. Um, it's like John's cave story or something like that. There was the original creepypasta and then like a rewrite that someone did and they turned it into a whole website. The website one is really good. The original one's okay, I guess. A bit silly. Is there just a gap there? I guess so. Oh, I hope real spelunking doesn't involve this much jumping because good lord. You wouldn't even be able to tell if this was, like, slippery. Like, if there was, like, water trickling there or something, and you would just slip and fall. Well, until you stopped falling. <laughs> Papa John's cave story. That's it. That's right. It's about a guy who um, tries to uh, deliver a pizza. It seems like a strange address, and he ends up there, and it's just a cave. Uh, and he's like, well, this isn't right. Surely there's no one who's ordering pizza to a cave. Um, but I was, you know, they, we already took deliver, uh, payment over the phone, so I guess I'll just leave the pizza right here. Um, and he turns around to leave, um, and then as he does, he hears a sound, and he turns back around, and the pizza's gone! Oh, something came out of the cave and took the pizza! Um, three spooky, five me, ten out of the ten, creepypasta. The real scary part is they didn't leave a tip. The temple must have been over a thousand years old. What temple? Oh, there's a tree here. Neato. There's several trees? Yeah. I knew they existed. I'd searched for the cultists all my life. Cultists? I mean, well, I guess, like, there's a lot of cults, uh, historically. What kind of cult? What do, who do they worship? There are there are a lot of like cave themed cults, like even like real ones historically. Overwhelmingly positive on Steam. It wasn't even a game. It was just a, a forum. It was just a green text, and somehow it ended up on Steam. That uh, does feel like one of those, um, you know, itch. Uh, games that would be like, you know, a PS1 style horror game, but you would do like, oh, the weird pizza delivery. Ugh. I need to go look up a bunch of. It's been a while since I've, uh, you know, read creepy pastas like. Regularly, I should go look up and see what the uh, what the new meta in creepy pastas is. You can read Wired magazine on Steam, really. They started adding magazines to Steam. 
Also, what if we like, how would we know if... Oh, I guess we can see our hand in the scanner just fine. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say like, how would we know if like, we were just walking through like a brightly lit area? Like there's just like, I don't know, a, an opening in the cave up here and there's like sunlight shining down. Um, but I guess we would see that. It's like a, this is not, oh, oh, okay. There's a, a statue here. Okay, so they worship some kind of um, horned uh, deity, maybe? There's a couple of ones. Right. So this is this this headset we've got is more augmented reality than virtual reality. Is that a broken statue? It is. Ugh. Church of Deer Boy. I mean, I mean that's a religion I can get behind. take a deer boy over a bunny boy personally just you know this is where they performed the sacrifices what is that a weird symbol <laughs> the more i scanned the altar the more it revealed i mean yeah that's kind of how this scanner works that's a very thank you a very helpful sentiment The more I looked, the more I saw. There's once is a guy who had some videos about creepypasta type stuff, and they amused me. And they took him down. Oh no, that is pretty bad. I used to watch, or listen to, maybe, I guess, that... What's the guy's name? It was just called, like, Mr. Creepypasta or something? Is he still around? Oh gosh, that's terrifying. What is that? Oh, there was like a there. Oh, there was like a uh, someone standing in the way. That's not how this works. How would that have worked? This doesn't make any logical sense. I would have seen them there if they were there. Uh, okay, that's nothing. Why does it keep, like, fizzing when I look here? Is it still, is there still a spooky thing here? Am I missing it? Oh, that's a very modern looking walkway. That looks like metal poles. Maybe it's not, maybe it's, I don't know, wood or something that somehow has not rotted in a thousand years. Can I get up there? No, I guess not. Is the twist gonna be that like, I don't know, this cult still is around doing sacrifices? I didn't even bring, like, a digital camera with him, or his phone to take pictures with. <laughs> this isn't a natural... Ooh, what's happening? Um, excuse me, fellas, just gonna grab this... Wait, no, what is that? Map view. Oh, woo, that's nifty. Uh... Prison 1 and 2, Chasm. Okay, it's not like a thing I missed. You know, they pushed him off. Oh, is that it? Okay. Yeah, I was not sure what happened there. <laughs> I always wondered how many poor bastards they threw over the edge. I don't know, like three or four. Seems like that's all here. Can I like burst scan? It does not get, like, the sides very well. I guess that kind of makes sense. It's a very noisy chasm.
Uh, so we can go that way. Can I go this way? Or is this blocked off? This is blocked off. I mean, if I can see my hand lit up here, surely I could see whatever was, like, right there. Right? I think we should have just, like, had you not able to see your hand and the tool at all. It would have been perfectly pitch black. There was no light whatsoever. The cultists believe the cave itself was malevolent, that the dead could never escape. Okay. Their victims were doomed to relive their final tortured hours forever. Bummer. Wait, was that a thing? No. No wonder people went mad down here. Okay. Well, I guess that explains why they are ordering uh, Papa John still, because they're still down here, you know, they would get hungry. Like, you know, Eternal Torment, that sucks, but like, at least you can get pizza still. I guess we get through this. Yep. Cave pizza, yeah! What would cave pizza have? I guess you would use like those, uh, what are they called? Troglodyte? That's, like, the animals that have, like, evolved to, um, adapt to caves. Like, they don't have eyes and, like, non-pigmented and stuff. Like, troglodyte fish instead of anchovies. And, uh, I guess there'd be a lot of mushrooms, huh? Caves are kind of stereotypically, like, it should be, like, mushrooms and lichen on your pizza. Glowworm pizza. Okay. Okay, now we're talking. I can get down with glowworm pizza. I am slightly bothered whenever I have like one area that has a lot more dots than others. I I'm I'm almost compelled to like, spread the dots around evenly. I gotta fight that urge, or else I'll be here. You know. I'll be down here forever, too, just like these tortured souls. Uh, through that? Yes. <laughs> Hi, gal! How's it going? Welcome to yet another spooky PB stream. Oh wait, Callie moved. Uh, let me shift the camera. Hopefully she didn't go into her box. Oh no, she's she's there. She's just like perfectly hidden behind uh, her log and stuff. Uh, we'll just uh, shift around there. There we go, there she is. She fell off a cliff. No, Cal. <laughs> You should have had a little scanny thing. Is that why it's called a scarecrow? Um, well, that would be a scary crow. You have ray gun? Is that a zombies reference? Oop. I almost walked off the cliff. Anybody down here now? It's doing some kind of spooky sound effects, but I don't know why. Oh well, we'll keep going. <laughs> Ray will be so glad you found his gun. Here. 
with like a tree ripped up, I guess. Yeah. This game is weirdly making me want to play. The cultist slept and ate here. What do you mean, where? Is there more to this? Oh, there's a bed. Like the monks who came after, they spent their time in silent prayer to an unanswering god. Wait, monks stayed here too? Yeah, this is a very poor sleeping area. These beds look a lot more modern than a thousand years old. But, uh, yeah, this game is weirdly making me want to play, uh, Fatal Frame. <laughs> I guess, you know, there's a weird camera mechanic, and also we're exploring a weird cultist cave that is kind of Fatal Frame. to make another Fatal Frame game at some point. Uh, God, it is even harder in this game to tell whether I'm supposed to be seeing something spooky or what. <laughs> I mean... There were, there was at least one Fatal Frame game where most of it was a story, right? Or what, most of it was a dream, but it was still, you know, it was uh, kind of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street rules, right? Where the dream still affected you. Wait, that's why you won't play RE4, what? What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> RE4 is not scary. It is, it is far too action-y to be scary. Like, there's a couple, like, semi-jump scares, I guess? But, what's this? It's another chest on the bed, I guess. Didn't you play? I thought you played, like, RE7 or RE Village. Robe? I don't know who that is. Why were they molding? Like, I didn't... I wasn't a huge fan of the remake, but I didn't, like... No, I did mold over it a little bit, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, I thought it was okay. I'm still not sure if I want to play the DLC. Maybe if it goes on sale, I'll play it at some point. But I'm not, like, excited for it. Like, I would be for more RE7 or RE8. I mean, it was Heartless... I could kind of get that as a criticism. I kind of see where they're coming from. Most of the points are they move the sex appeal and the sexism. Well, <laughs> that's uh, probably not valid. I mean, okay, removing the sex appeal, I can understand that as a valid criticism, actually. I think that that's... I think there is some valid criticisms to be had for modern media and how much they strip away just sex in general, like, that's a valid criticism to look at them like, well, you removed, you know, it may not have been, like, a vital component of the story, but it was, you know, a component um, that was interesting and whatever. Yeah, I still think I should just go back and play the original RE4 again. I haven't played it in a very long time. I don't know if I've ever replayed it. I think I've tried to replay it and never got that far. Because RE4 is one of those games where, like, I love the first half, and then... Like... Like, I, like once it gets to the castle and stuff, I'm like, eh, everything after that... is less interesting to me. going on here? Oh, the water likes... Oh, okay, the water uh, does not stay uh, lit up. I guess that... No, that doesn't make sense. Why would it not stay lit up? I feel like less than, you know, scanning a thing, I feel like I'm planting, like, tracers around because, again, there was that weird 
statue or figure or whatever that moved as well when it shouldn't have been able to like that's not how that works if i if i scan a thing it should stay scanned even if or like you know that point should remain even if the thing moves because that's how <laughs> that's how this works <laughs> I'm just irradiating everything. Yeah, like if it was like a radiation thing, like I was like planting like uh, like tiny tiny amounts of radiation on surfaces, uh, and that's how I was seeing the scans. That would make sense. Kelta, hello, <laughs> hello Kelta, and hello Raiders. I hope well. I'll give you a moment to get to the ads. The Victorian Victorian top hat wilts whenever I see oh. <laughs> Wait, your top hat wilts when you see ankles. Isn't that the opposite of what it should do? Shouldn't it like, shouldn't it like pop off your head and like steam like flies out of your ears or something? Hi, Kelta. How did your RE0 go? I've never played RE0. It's one of the couple RE games I've never played. I hope everyone is doing well. I... Hope you're all through the ad by now. I'm sorry about the pre-roll ads, but that just means that there are no further ads. Oh, okay. Stay out of the water, maybe. It messes with your scanner. Oh, you're doing an RE Marathon. Oh, cool. Maybe I should do an RE Marathon at some point and play some of the ones that I never did. Yeah, I've been meaning to play this game for ages. Uh, can I look in the water? I don't know how far back I'll go if I, like, die. Is there anything over here? It looks like there might be something over there. <laughs> All good, Kelta. Get some rest. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Um... Okay, I'm gonna go over here real quick. See what happens. <laughs> Appreciate the raid. All right, let's see. Do I die? Oh yeah, because I can't scan anymore. <laughs> He's a... I'm not sure why being in water would make it this glitchy. Maybe I am supposed to come this way. Are we just like covered in exposed wires or something? <laughs> Are we being electrocuted as we come around here? Uh, let's see, what's over here? Oh my gosh, this glitch effect. It's a bit excessive, isn't it? Uh, can we go in here? Oh! Uh... Okay, well I seem to have found a bottomless pit of some kind. Will I be able to see the ground as I smash into it? Am I? Did I just like find a hole in the game? Did I find a glitch spot? A speedrun strat? Um, I don't know how useful this is as a speedrun strat. Load last checkpoint, I guess. Okay, ooh, gosh, where am I? All right, I'm here. Um, I wanna go see what was over here. If there was, an, there was another path. All right, if it technically puts me there, I'm gonna assume that that's progress. Do, do, do. I wonder how bad the bitrate is during those segments. Come on. What's over here? Can I stay out of the water? No. Uh. I'm gonna 
find another bottomless pit. Uh, no, it seems like it might just be a dead end. Or not? Maybe not? Goodness. How far does this go? Oh. Okay, this comes up to... right here. Right. So this is nothing, I think. Just a bit of awkwardness. Yeah. No, oh, it does keep going. Maybe. <laughs> All right, here we go. Did the camera effect work? Oops, I didn't notice. Water? Yes, okay. Alright, there's water. What's that? Okay, I just found a little, like, ledge, I guess, I can climb on. Surely they wouldn't do this for nothing, right? It did work? Okay. Surely there was, there has got to be something over here. Is that a... No, that was just a bit of wall. Okay, it kind of looked like a shape of a person for a sec. Is this seriously just a dead end? All this for a dead end? I can't find any other way through. Man. Lame. Alright, we're just gonna reload. Oh! Okay, we're fine. Alright, scan a bunch just so we have a good idea of where we're going when we get into the water. Do do do. Oh, God. Went upside down for a second there. Okay, well, that was a big waste of time. Are there? It's the other side of the uh, collapsed section. What's this? Just a rock. More water? Yes, it is. Uh, hey, that looks like progress. Is there anything across the water? I don't think so. What's that? Cage? don't think there's anything over there. Why is there reflections? Again, unless we're, like, irradiating stuff, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I know I'm criticizing the uh, science of this device a lot, but... It doesn't make sense, right? Not if we're, like, scanning stuff. The witch trials came much later. What? Is this also related to, like, the Salem witch trials? What is this? They used to drag witches down here and purge them in huge numbers. Evil throughout the ages. Okay, maybe the cave is just a... What would you say? A hungry maw or something? Whoa. 
Okay. There's no doubt they believe in the myths. It was no accident they chose... What did that say? This cave? They wanted to imprison the evil down here as eternal punishment. Maybe you shouldn't have, like, text come up when there's a weird screaming um, monster guy. Because that's going to be distracting. Uh... Hey, ugh. Try to edge around, at least for a little while. All right, where are we going? I have no idea where to go. I'm gonna be fumbling blindly over there, I think. Just make sure I can't ugh, scan anywhere else. Well, more things. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I thought that was ground. Do, do, do. Is that water? That's water. And I could try to go exploring, but I kind of doubt there's going to be anything over there if there was nowhere to go in the last place. Is that solid? Oh yeah, I can I can check the Oh my gosh, that's huge. It's so big. Wow. Purging cages. Witch trials year 1680. Make entrance. Uh oh my god. The lake is massive. Okay, hopefully I don't have to cross the lake, because that would take forever. Uh where was the other path? Here. I did wonder if it was true, of course. No way, these were just glitches. What was that? That much death occurring in such a confined space, what horrors must they have seen in their final moments? Um... Well, probably none, because it's pitch black down here, right? I don't think they would have seen anything. Unless they had a torch or something, I suppose. Okay, we'll go this way. Rocks in the lake. Right? What's over here? Dead end, I guess. Thank you, in. Oh, is that an upgrade over there? I think. Let's try to scan all the walls that we can while we're here. Just to help out later. Alright. Dude, this is such a cooling effect still. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll go down here. Oh. Um. Yeah, gimmicks could be fine. For, like, short games like this, um, I've got no problem with gimmicks. 
If this was like a, I don't know, 12-hour game or something, it would definitely get old. But, you know, for a short experience, it's great. Uh, hmm. Okay. Do I go across the water? Do I go over here? This seems right. get a good perspective of... Okay, there's no way I can get up that, right? Is there? I don't think so. No. That's nothing. What is this thing? Is this a building, or is it just weird-shaped stone? Alright, I guess we jump. This way or that way? Do do. All right. Enough scanning. Oh, is that a troglodyte fish? Did y'all ever do this? <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I would do this. I mean, sans the, sans the, the, like, monsters, or potential of monsters and ghosts and stuff. Like, if this is just, like, a cave, you know, we're, like, real life, you know, there's no such thing as monsters, obviously. Would you take a tool like this? And I don't know if I would do it like this. I would still use a flashlight. Um, but I think... If I did not have to crawl into any, like, creepy... Well, I shouldn't say creepy. Into any, um, dangerous, like, holes where I could potentially get stuck or something like that. If it was just, like, you know, map out a cave with this neat implement, I think I would do that. Guarding the upper. Oop. There's a drop there. Sensor upgrade. Scanner resolution is increased. Oh, okay. So we just got more dots. <laughs> more dots. <laughs> just, uh. Who left that there? Who left these devices? I guess, I guess whoever, <laughs> whoever came down here before us. It's so like, this is after I go down here and, um, you know, drop my cool sensor and fall down on a bottomless pit or get grabbed by the ghoulies or whatever. Um, this guy comes down here and, uh, finds my, my cool sensor with the upgrades. More cage, or cages. Sure. Formation, whatever.
Uh, oh, jumping puzzle time. Parkour. Huh. Okay, we're fine. Not sure I would make that one. Any spookies? No. I keep again. <laughs> I forgot I got the zoom. I got confused by that for a second. Wait, behind me? No. It wasn't much of a lake. It was more of a pond, really. But I guess, like, in a cave, maybe the definition of a lake gets uh, squished a bit because, like, it's hard to have a massive underground lake, surely. So maybe a pond gets upgraded to a lake. Boat? Hello. Can I use the boat? <laughs> I, I do not seem to be able to move the boat. Uh oh, am I stuck? There we go. Wait, no. Oh, no, it's going. I guess. Is it? Is it just like weird physics? What's happening? Oh, no, I can steer it. Okay. I am controlling the boat. <laughs> I did not expect it to just work like this. It's a very retro way of controlling a vehicle. Did the boat lose dots there? No? Oh gosh, this thing steers like a brick. Oh, music. What does that mean? Is that water dripping? I guess this is a very wet room. I think at this point I have to assume that it's using radiation, right? That's why, like, the they drip off <laughs> even the the rocks. Ugh. Goodness, haven't you ever rode a boat before? Obviously not if you're just doing it with your mind powers. Music is a bit interesting. Kind of changed the vibe all of a sudden. I'm okay with that though. Are we gonna have a jump scare to immediately change the vibe again? Anyways, only wet, like, from there up? What does that mean? I wish I had a flashlight. There's supposed to be, like, shapes there? No, I guess not. Oh boy. It's a slow boat, huh? Am 
mean, I guess it is like a thousand years old or something, so I guess I can't complain that much. Tunnel of Love and your partner is the scanner. My, okay, I'm gonna need all of you to, uh, we're going through the tunnel. So, can everyone in chat please turn away from the screen so I can have a private moment with my scanner here? Oh! No, no! Don't get stuck! Don't do the Austin Powers, like, steamroller thing. Or, steamroller? What do they call them? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Don't get wedged. Oh my gosh, have we not done with the boat yet? Okay, this must be the end up here. All right. That's fine. Let's see, did that um section have a name or anything? Oh gosh. They made it a bit easier to look at. Lake exit no, didn't have a name or anything. Road rollers. I mean, that's what they're used for, though, right? Primarily? It's like flattening the earth for, like, laying down road. Steamroller is better. So they are called steamrollers. Okay, I'm not crazy. I wasn't sure if that, like, combination of terms just, like, came out of nowhere. Oh, hello. You've got a weapon of some kind. Is that a pickaxe? What is that? What's that supposed to be? Material scanner. What? Huh? What does that mean? So many have died down here. So I can see what it's made of? Hold on. It has been more than a thousand years. Or, no, it hasn't. It's been less than a thousand years. My eyes came for work. They were just as superstitious. I didn't notice what that said. All those that lost their lives to negligence, are they trapped down here too? Um, I'm not sure how they would have gotten these hearts through this extremely rough area. Also, if there were miners here with, like, moving carts, like, that's a fairly recent thing, right? Maybe that could be a thousand years old. What is that? Oh, more people falling, right? Uh, what was that? Hold on. I swear I saw something else over here. Oh, yeah, can I, like... Twisted your time traveler. <laughs> this does feel a little bit like a Doctor Who gadget. What's the point of the material mode? I guess maybe just makes things a bit more readable. Steam doesn't need to be rolled, only this fat blunt. Oh god, don't ask me to roll a blunt. I tried once, never again. Only time I'd ever tried. I was in uni. My friends told me they were. What, what is this? 
My friends told me they were too high to roll it themselves. They asked me if I could, and I was like, uh, I'll try, I guess. And it did not end well. <laughs> Okay. I was not asked to leave the club, fortunately, but um, it was bad. What? what you... There's nowhere to fall. What are you falling on? What? Okay, is there anything this way? It looked like there was a path. Maybe not. No, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, this looks more like, I don't know, less a thousand years ago and more like 200 years ago. What are these made of? Oh, well. Oh. I'm gonna stop questioning the lore. Oh, more scanners, okay. I mean, I could have scanned the stuff myself. Uh, ow! Okay, I thought I could get closer to the edge than that. Wait, what? Okay. Ooh! <sighs> Alright, where do we go? Oh, go to the edge. Uh... Where do I go? A lack of safety. Well, I mean, there is a safety railing, but it's broken. Oh, can I go over here? Yes, but am I supposed to? I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I feel like the answer is no, I was not supposed to do that. Although, no, I can't squeeze through there. No, I wasn't supposed to come over here. <laughs> can I get back? Ugh, yeah, just barely. Uh, oh, okay. Howdy, friends. Hey, you, you, that was a guy with a pickaxe, okay. Am I supposed to change mode? Will that do something? No? Where are you? Am I blind? Am I missing something? Wait, there we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just had to turn around and look in a different direction. Does it matter that all of this is in my memory? What? What does that mean? Does it make it any less real? Are we already dead? I was there, I was the first. What? What are you saying? Uh, uh well, it's a dead end, I think. Is it? Oh! Oh my gosh, I didn't think I would make that. Okay.
lack. All right. Bunch of lacks. Hmm. Is it going to turn out this is just like a museum thing that we are going through and uh we're just like breaking in after dark or something and like that's why there's all this weird stuff everywhere it's because it's just like animatronics and stuff <laughs> i'm not sure what the point of the material mode was why didn't they just do this from the start Can't see anything with no. Uh, this is interesting. What's going on? Another upgrade? Or is that a... No, it's like an elevator. I remember coming down like it was yesterday. Oh boy. Hoping I'd find something below. Hopefully it wouldn't be another empty cave. Can I get in here? I have to like do some parkour to get in. Just wish I'd been better prepared. The real horror is going to be the dangers of and goop. The dangers of exploring caves without proper preparation and not using uh, the buddy system. Um, there was nothing supernatural at all. It's just like a an after school special, basically. Going. There? Nope. Ugh. Why is this blue? What material is this that it's blue? Way. Ugh. There we go. Okay, that's how I jump into that. Ugh. It's very confusing walking around here with all the like layered stuff. Is that a yeah, okay, that is an actual <laughs> I wasn't sure until I actually landed on it that it was actually a platform. Yeah, this is might be more helpful here, in fact. Uh oh, oh, oh! What what was that? Why is it what is why is it slippery? Alright, whatever. Okay. Is this open? Oh no, this opened. 
do something over here too. Something, no. Hmm. What am I looking for? <laughs> Are we just leaving behind this museum, I guess? Oh, there's a the thing, okay. Thank you, Ann. Nope. Uh, how do I get in there? Eh. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's fine. I played Daggerfall. I can find my way around caves. Nope. Not that way. Uh. Okay. Did I miss a path? I must have. Anything over here? No, oh, this looks promising. Um maybe? Proper maze hours now. Uh. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, I found it. No, I didn't. I almost found it. Ooh, don't fall. Can you go down there? Doesn't look that deep. I can survive that, right? Surely? Yeah. Trouble keeping track of where I am. Okay, here we go. All right. Is that the elevator? Can we leave? Feels odd. Why would we be leaving, though? Uh. Surely we would just go back to our camp. Here. I'm not sure how there's still power down here either. Oh, that's loud. Uh, is this elevator just gonna like crash and fall and kill us, and that's the end? Did I? Is this actually the end? Is 
I'm expecting another, like, hour at least. I'm not sure if this is actually the end. It's neat to be able to, like, see the, the path we took, though. At least some of it. It doesn't render. Oh, I know it does. That's, that's the start way back over there, I guess. Not getting any brighter, though. What is the music? This music's a bit weird and a bit loud. Okay, well, we made it. Up the elevator, at least. The elevator didn't crash and kill us. Twist, you were always blind. Well, I don't think that's true, because I can see the thing in my hand, and I can see the stuff at the start. How many times do I have to really have to relive this? Okay, yeah, we keep going. Oop. I did was it a hold on. Always the same rock, the same metal, the same stale air. There's that, um, there's a horror story and the guilt. I'm trying to remember what it, who it was by. Was it like by one of the classical horror authors or I just want to see my family again. There's a horror story about a guy who goes into a cave for, I don't know, exploring it or whatever, I guess. And, uh, he is injured at some point, uh, like injures his head, um, and breaks his light. Ooh, ooh, stutters. And so he's like in pitch blackness and has no idea where he is. And he like, you know, spends, I don't know, however long down there, like unable to escape. Um, cause he can't find his way out. Um... I don't know how I died. But you did. So we made it out. Are this must be stars, I guess so. <laughs> you wouldn't what you wouldn't go into a cave after me? You wouldn't come rescue me from a cave? Of all the memories I'm forced to relive, it's the one thing I don't remember. Well, then it's not a memory, is it? What is that? Oh, it's your family. They are always here for me. Oh, just for me? Thank you. Uh... I can't go that way. Ooh. Anyway, I was going to say more about the story, but then I realized if I, like, told more, it would, like, spoil it. And, I don't know, it was a good story from what I remember, so I wouldn't want to spoil it if somebody would, like, happen to stumble across it and read it. <laughs> What is this? They know I'm never coming back. Oop. Okay. Is that it? Is that all? Okay, now we get that ugh, a nice stuttery flyover of the, the path we took. Don't like seeing people in all the dots? Yeah, it's a bit weird. It does look a bit weird. I can't change the mode. <laughs> oh, okay. We're not gonna do it slow. <laughs> We're gonna slowly fly through the entire thing. 
Well, that was... Interesting. Could have been better, I think. I feel like the the little short indie free itch one I played might have been a bit of a better experience of the same thing. Oh well. Oh. That's true. I finally caved. <sighs> the real experience is playing it repeatedly forever. I mean, if there was a thing where it's like, you know, if you play this multiple times, it, uh, I don't know, more stuff unlocks or something. That would be... Yeah, that would probably not be great either, because this is kind of a long game to just walk through for a couple new experiences. Yeah, I don't think that would be the case. Our, our tent with the mysterious glowing light from nowhere procedurally generated endless mode cave. Um, eh, no thanks. I don't think I need that. So we have no idea how he dies. Okay. Well, this was... I died of game. Yeah. <laughs> I caved too hard. Smart. Yep. We didn't bring the first aid kit, and that's why we died. I mean, it's a backwards said, so it's still kind of sport. Uh, well, is there something else? Oh. I love when John said it's cave in time and then scanned all over those guys. Well, that was um, a neat experience. I don't know. It was kind of a letdown in the ending. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for like an actual, I don't know, scary experience. Oh well. Too much cave. <laughs> okay, IGN. There's a bigger team than I expected for this game. Thought it would have been like, I don't know, three or four people. What you should have done is put me in another, like, uh, cave chamber or whatever, um, and give me the scanner and, like, let me reveal all of the credits with the scanner as, like, you know, like, you know, the, the text as, like, models around the room. Okay, 
the end of the credits? Like the Splatoon credits? I have no idea. Maybe, I guess. New Game Plus? What is New Game Plus? Hold on. Okay, apparently there's something hidden at the start. And you get all the upgrades in the beginning, too. Electric Playground reviewed Harvest Moon. <laughs> Tell me because there was too much reading. Yeah, whoa, that's a f very different scanner. Isn't it? Maybe it's not. Is this not what it looked like? Is there anything at the beginning over here? I had never heard of Tommy Tallarico before the... There's something here. weird to have a new game plus mode in this game but uh, I won't I won't argue with it Closer to the tent? Oh, okay. Uh, I can go back. Yeah, Earthworm Jim's a bit of a... Maybe we should, um, ch are, is there anyone else who was, like, super, um involved in Earthworm Gym that we should check out to make sure that, like, there's not more, um, you know, wang rods <laughs> involved in that project. <laughs> they do seem to tend to, like, attract each other. Something up here? No, that's nothing. Let's see, did I miss anywhere? The ceiling, maybe? Uh, I don't see anything. This is a couple little spots that I haven't scanned yet, but... Material mode? I don't see any different colors. Nothing stands out. Ugh. Oh, wait. Oh. Sis. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pretty hard to spot without the yeah i guess it is me probably what well, was i just like standing up here and then fell backwards and bonked my head and that's it
Game over. T-posing into eternity. Yeah, very much T-posing. Well. Um, mystery solved. That's how we died. How anticlimactic. We didn't even get, like, I don't know, pickaxed by a minor ghost or um, throttled by, like, a curse demon or something. Okay. Level select? It's a, it's a lot more uh, features of this game than I had expected. Prototypes? Wait, what? Oh, this is about the prison architect team? Interesting. Scanner somber and wrong wire. Wrong wire is what? Uh oh. Okay, so that's not <laughs> that's not actually related to this game. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, that was Scanner Somber. I finally played it. Alrighty. Uh um, what time is it? Okay, I got about an hour, and I've got a bunch of other indie games set aside, of course, because I always do. Uh, so let's um let's play some. Okay, <laughs> I've got one that. Oh, did Kelly go into her box? I I noticed she just disappeared, or did she go back to the front again? The game of the nun slaps you. No, I'm not going to play nun massacre or whatever. Oh, wait. Uh, no, she is out, but she is going into her box right now, it looks like. Okay, never mind. Well, bye, Callie. Good night. Right in terms of flavor, texture, and cool cheats. Um, flavor, I would give it a 7 out of 10 for those delicious, um, wall, damp rock walls. Um, but it gets, uh, dinged a bit for not having any tasty, uh, troglodyte fish. Um, texture, um, 10 out of 10. Um, who doesn't love, uh, rocks and caves and squishy mud? Um, and cool cheats, um, 3 out of 10. There was that one glitch where I fell through the world, <laughs> but beyond that, uh, I don't think there were any other glitches or cheats. So um, yeah, overall, I give it um, don't go into caves out of three. All right. <laughs> I'm glad I could uh, provide a useful service. <laughs> this has been another PB rates a game. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play some indie games now. And the first one is called Approaches. Just Approaches. And apparently this uh, is a horror game at least a little bit about bird watching. So of course I have to play that first. Uh, me quickly uh, uh, come on don't take control of my thing there we go is this like that one Brian David Gilbert song probably not but it could be uh, mouse or joy? Ooh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a tutorial. All right. Okay, I'm not stuttering or anything, am I? It doesn't look like it. Okay, I can open. What is this? I can't crouch. Okay, uh, I hear crows. Where are they? Ooh. Drink a beer? I mean, I would love to, but I don't think I can. Is 
Is that going to do anything, or is it just going to run for a while? Okay, let's go up. Let's go, let's go do some bird watching. Oop! Oh, it's a backpack, I guess. Got a couple of satellite things. I don't see any birds. I don't even hear the birds anymore. Wait, no. I still hear them. Nothing's happening. Anywhere else to go? Nope. Are we in like a Firewatch station? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Also, this... What is that? What is happening? Something big is coming. Think. No. I think the ground was shaking, wasn't it? Or is it just a weird camera thing? Hey, I don't think it's a Firewatch Tower. Um I think it's more likely to be like I don't know, some sort of radio transmitting thing. Could be like a, a SETI or something, you know, that kind of thing. The shadowy wait, what shadowy figure? I missed it if there was one. something? It was a tree? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of trees. They do make it kind of hard to see if there's something. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Oh, wait. What was that? Oh. Circle, triangle, square, mountain. Oop. Mountain. Okay. Circle, triangle, square. I don't know what's happening. Oh, no. Doing. <laughs> what if I just wait? Oh, birds! There they are. Coming from over there. Oh. Oh. Have a very um pointy head. Are you just gonna oh. Hi? 
Uh. Do you not like circle? Get packed. <laughs> I don't want to get packed. Oh no. Okay. Do I go down? No. Can't go back in. Anything else I can do? Oh, there's more of them. I think. Cool hats. Or heads. Oh. Oh, big ones. Or close ones? They could be big or they could be close. Yeah, I really don't like circles, huh? Big hands, give me the finger! No! <laughs> I'm getting owned. Oh, oh, okay. The game just closed. <laughs> okay, well, that was approaches. Okay. I don't think I missed anything. I'm, a, I'm never sure with these games where they're like a corn cob. What do you mean corn cob? I'm not a corn cob. Look at me, I'm a, I'm a pumpkin right now. Uh, what do you mean I'm kind of a corn cob? That's so rude. What the heck? All right, here's a game that I've tried to play like six different times and I've never gotten it to work. Let me see if I can get it to work this time. It always ends up like uh, glitching out my system, but with the upgrade. Nope, never mind. Okay, I should just delete this game. I really want to play it because it sounds interesting. But. Uh, uh, what else we got? Ooh, okay, this, okay, I've got one called. So this one is called Cleaning Redville. It's about being a sanitation worker. Um, let's try this. Oh, made by Doppler Ghost. Redville, 1976. All right, here we go. This is an interesting run animation. Four bags left. Okay, I can't just, like, <laughs> leave. <laughs> Drive truck. Um. No. Okay. Do I need to turn around? Red bag. Wow, reversing is extremely slow. Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to... Can I get out? Back menu, no. Oh, there we go. I just look at the... Oh, here. Uh, right click to put down. This is a very, like, <laughs> physics bag. Oh my gosh, all right. Uh, put that in. Pick up this one. Oh, wait, what? Empty the truck before dumping. Oh. Oh, nice. Do I have to... Oh, no, okay. It doesn't, like, reset. So, dump in. <laughs> Great. Put that there. I thought I was having to, like, drive to 
Redville or whatever. So we'll just compress that. And then can I close the back? Close. I don't normally work in like teams of two or three. Oh well. So now I can probably leave. No, oh, yeah, okay. The the block is gone. Red bag. Budget cuts? Yeah, makes sense. I uh, don't know what... Okay, so we're... Uh, the, the steering wheel is on the left side, so I assume we are in the U.S. We drive on the right side of the road, for the most part. Ooh, okay. Controls are a bit twitchy. Welcome to Redville. Beautiful Redville. Oh. Uh, I guess I don't go that way. Where would the tunes go? Alright. Somebody have bags out. Is it, is it not bin night? Oh, there's one. Okay. Okay, let's let's do the bin. Hello, there we go. Oh, right. Gotta open the back. Okay. Oop. How do I? How do I have to? Okay, I have to do this first, I guess. No? Oh, there it goes. Couple more. I didn't miss any bins, did I? I don't think so. Does it say how many bags are left? Yeah, it does. Uh, three. Okay, so this is the last one. What do these bags remind me of? The way they move. Something from a different game, but I can't think of what it is. Alright, compress, close, and off we go. Alright. Ugh, oh shoot. Ugh. Ugh. Are we gonna find like bodies in some of these bags or something? Is that a bag? Yes. Go forward. There's a couple, and is that a bin? Two bins. Eight bags left. I hope there's two or three bags in each of those bins. Oh, right. So this is where it's helpful to have, you know, another another person just saying, uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, can I not pick that up? Oh well. <laughs> Pretty good uh, fake out. All right. Oh, hello. That noise. Oh, was it just? The, I think it was just the thing disappearing. If there are any sanitation workers in chat, is this what it's like? 
<laughs> Slow down, okay? Oh man, this thing's brakes are not great. See, four left, so there's... Oh, oh, thank you, appreciate that. Why haven't I ever seen a uh, green text creepy pasta about sanitation workers? There's gotta be some like that's gotta be some ripe um uh what's the word? Like grounds, territory, whatever for some some good creepy pasta. I closed the back, right? I must have. Uh, oop. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. We're off of it. Yeah, I put the bin back. You know. Just leave in the street. No, you can't do that. I mean, we'd probably get fired if we did that. I don't think I closed the lid last time. That's not good. That's probably a, a safety hazard. I bet I would get a, uh, a, 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 what do you call them? Like a, a demerit for that. Oh. That was just, uh, Leonardo? I don't know. <laughs> Did I so much trash? Well, I mean, true. Oh, what am I doing? That's not how you open it. This is. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave it open for a little bit <laughs> just to drive up here. Is that I don't know, is that a safety hazard to leave the lid open? I guess you have to be like worried about like, I don't know, kids crawling in there or something. Being idiots. Same reason that, you know, you used to have to take the door off of fridges before you Yeah. That makes sense. Should definitely, yeah, you should never leave it unsupervised if it's open, like I just did there. I'd be a horrible sanitation worker. I, I, just, I just don't have it. I'm just not cut out for it. Um, ooh, I think I've heard about, maybe not the same one, but I've heard about that almost happening too, yeah. That is terrifying. I guess probably you're supposed to to close the lid before you use the thing too, huh? Maybe? I don't know. Cause like probably something in there could like snap and fly out. Like if there's like a metal thing in there that could you know, under the strain, could just like snap and fly out and impale you or something. Oh my gosh, these people just leaving their junk all over the place. All right, five bags. Only saw four, but maybe someone. Oh wait, no, no there's five. All right. You know, it'd be funny is if <laughs> is if what's supposed to happen is you're like you're supposed to get lazy and not like you know, close the lid or whatever for it. But if you play it properly and, you know, you, you follow all the rules like a proper, um, oop, hello, drop. You know, do everything that you're supposed to do. The scary thing doesn't happen. You just have a normal day at work. <laughs> oh, hello. Make sure they don't get into the the compactor. See, if, if we had left the lid open, there's a chance I could have jumped in there. Hello? Close? There we go. Oh gosh, again! <laughs> 
This thing corner is a lot tighter than I expected to. Alright. I'm not very good at driving it, but you know, I, sh I should be the person who's just like hanging on the back doing all the bins and, and bags and stuff, you know? That's that that's that's what my specialty would be, not the driving part. It was a bit easier to close it. It's a bit precise. Okay, gotta make sure we get like all the way out in the other lane. There we go. Is there a bag right here? Oh no, I'm seeing things. There was. Uh, okay, that got, bin got knocked over. Six bags. Is there still bags in the bin? No? Oh wait, there's a bin right there. Wait, nope. Ugh. Come on. I might actually play a game <laughs> just doing this. I might I might actually be willing to spend hours of my life. Oh, um that should probably go in I don't know, can you recycle a knife? I guess it depends on what it's made of. Can I pick the no I can't pick up their bin for them? Oh well. That's true, there is my Sarah cleanup. Um What? Did I miss something? Was something supposed to happen there? Alright, grab that bag. Thought I heard something behind me. Ugh. Let's see, is it the last one? No, it's a couple more. Oh, is that all the lights went out? It's also quite late for us to be doing this uh, trash collection, surely. I don't think I only do it like first thing in the morning, not in the middle of the night. Is that two bags left? It's the last one, I guess. Okay. Was there a bag there? No. It's bins there though. Come on. <laughs> I haven't missed any. You can't miss any. They don't, they don't let you advance if you miss them. I'm just waiting for like one of these times I'm gonna compress the thing. There's gonna be a horrible scream if someone gets crushed. Again, it doesn't let me move. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that's like supposed to happen or if it's just the controls not responding for a second. Uh, there's a bag. There's a bag over there too. I didn't miss one back here, did I? I don't think so. deep in the roleplay now. Oh, that's, well, that's not, that's not my job. 
Someone else has to deal with that. I guess I should call it in though, huh? Hey, that was the last one. I'm on the clock, I don't have time? Yeah, it's true. I don't really have time to hop on the radio and be like, hey, call the, uh... What do you call the people who do, like, water? What was that? That break? <laughs> Bottle and get back to work? Yes, boss! I'm sorry, boss! I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking about uh, doing a civic duty to yeah, address um, an issue. No, I promise. I'm just, you know... Collecting the, the garbage, the trash, the rubbish, the bins. Hey! That comes out of my paycheck, you know? I'm not gonna believe that someone threw a ketchup bottle through the front windshield. I shouldn't even be driving this around, probably. Now I definitely have to call it in. Oop. I guess that's what I pee in, though, right? <laughs> oh, wait. Nope, nope. Gotta... Didn't tape a flush toy to the front? Oh, true. That's true. Wait, what does that say? Come on. Go forward. Somebody cut my fuel line? Okay, sometimes I have to, like, go backwards first. You are living a lie. There's a bag there. I mean... Oops. Come on. Alright, that was the last one. Oh, bunch of bins. Okay. I'm going to park on the wrong side of the road here to do this. Oop. Rats. Wait, is there stuff in that? Wait, is there a note there? Read. You better hurry, it's getting red here. Huh? Okay, I can't. I guess there's nothing in it. It's getting red here? Does that mean it's getting, like, bright out? We're not doing fast enough? Well, look, you know, uh, I'd rather get a demerit for being slow than a demerit for, you know, not following safety regulations. I think that was the sound of the thing disappearing. Look, if this was my job after I... I mean, I'd be cool doing this job. I have a lot of respect for sanitation workers. I think they're great. Is that a... stream? Just open that? No? Was that a... bin? No, she's a very chunky fire hydrant. Oh, there's some stuff. Oh my god, please. Thank you. Oh, there's another note there. I mean, I probably shouldn't be reading notes on my time, on my, on the clock. We won't hurt you, we need you. Yeah, you do. Do you have any idea how disgusting this neighborhood would end up within, like, you know, a month without me here? Taking all your rubbish away? 
Sounds corporate? What sounds corporate? Oh. Marvel Social. Hold on. Oh god, I never thought about that. Do cigarette companies have, like, social media presences? That sounds like something that should be illegal. Did I run over a sign? Well, kind of, but the signs were in the middle of the road. I didn't have much choice. Although I did bump into a bunch of signs. Maybe this is the, like, um, what's the word? The Crash Bandicoot style thing. You know, all the signs and lampposts and stuff that I bumped into are here at the end to judge me. <laughs> Wait, what's this? There's a note. But they were no rumors. We murdered many people. Wait, what? Did I miss another note? I think I missed a note somewhere. Well, look. Once again, not my job. Not my problem. I'm here for the rubbish. Uh, leave it to the cops to investigate the creepy death threats or whatever. The signs are after me. <laughs> Each body bag has its own PB inside. Wait, what? Ugh. Why did it turn so far? Ugh, okay. Uh, oh, and we're back here. We're at the end, I guess. Goodbye, Red... What was it called again? Redville? that turn. Okay. Uh. Uh, how am I going to explain this hole in the glass? Oh, jeez. One bag left! Oh, no! But it's time to face your real job. What? Oh, no! <laughs> uh, I feel like I missed a note somewhere to... Well... <laughs> All in a day's work. Redville Crematorium. What? Wait. <laughs> yeah, we did kind of slide. We did kind of just glide along uh, the parking lot there. It's fine. So wait, were we actually a... A cleaner, like a, you know, like a, a professional, like, uh, what's the word? Like criminal cleaner, cleaning up after like murders and stuff? All the bags and bodies? Yeah, okay. I'm not sure, like, do, do crematoriums normally have just a bunch of, uh, garbage trucks parked out front? That seems like that would be a bit suspicious. Anyway. That was a cool game. I like that. That was fun. <laughs> um, how do I exit? Okay, we'll just alt F4. Cleaning Redville. That one was fun. I like that one. Okay, I got time for like one more short uh, short one, maybe. Maybe even two, like two more, depending on how short they are. Um...
Let's see. How about... This game called Something in the Well. Inspired by the infamous Hathaway tapes. What? I don't know what those are. Uh, wow. Wow. One of these games actually has frame rate settings. Amazing. Okay. Uh, do not see that very often in these little indie games. Oh, okay. So we got night vision. Not going out there. Okay. Oh. Let's turn that off. That noise is going to get annoying. Oh, doggo! She's asleep. Is she a Roddy? Oh. Huh? Okay. Good night, Haven. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. What's up, girl? Something's gotten her worked up. Oh. Yeah, I'll say. This is one of those uh, characters who just, for whatever reason, always pulls out a camera whenever they wake up. Oh no! No, doggo! Don't go out! She hates solicitors. <laughs> is there? Hold on. Were there, were there more controls? I don't know, there was a readme. Uh, let me make sure I'm not going to miss any. Uh, no, okay, there's nothing else. So just follow the path. Oop, leave that on. Wait, why is... If there's a path leading to this, why would the fence be broken? Unless the fence has been broken a long time and we just, you know, made this path ourselves. Well, there's the well. There's something in it, apparently. Oh, okay. We just went down it, I guess. Uh, all right. Let's, um... Follow the right-hand side, I guess. Yeah, it's pitch black down here. Is this just going in a loop? No, it's not. Oh. Okay, so we don't actually have to... You know, the fact that we are controlling a camera means that at any point, the person controlling the camera could change. For all we know, we are were, we were already someone else who has, like, killed the first person. Can I close this behind me? No. What's that? Whoa! Okay, normal church things. Jeez. Oh no, the doggo. Say it ain't so. Uh, do I just leave? Time to go John Wick, yeah, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, what? This 
supposed to do something? No? Where am I? Oh, jeez. <laughs> that ain't no bodies were ever found. Police discovered camcorder footage on whatever damage to the tape rendered it useless. The footage was never released to the public. Okay. Hathaway tapes. I've never heard of that. What are the Hathaway tapes? Um, okay, Google does not seem to know anything, so I don't know. I'm not sure what that, if that was an actual reference to something real or not. It'd be weird to say it was inspired by a not real thing. What? I can't close it. Like, okay, I can't delete it for some reason. Um, hmm, do we have any other, maybe one more little short one? Let's see, which of these is probably short? How about this one called Remember? And this will be the last one for sure. Hopefully it's not like suddenly like a three hour long game or something. I doubt it, but. Okay, there we go. Remember, press space. Uh. Pick up objects with left click. Throw the crate into the void. Oh. Throw, okay. <laughs> Just hit him in the junk with the barrel. <laughs> oh, is there another one? that? Huh? He didn't get stunned. This is a comedy game a little bit. <laughs> Maybe he only gets stunned a certain number of times. Do you remember? No. Try to remember. Oh. Huh? What is it? I don't understand. What do you mean? 661. Oh, 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 oh. I see. Right. That's what I mean. I, was, I thought I didn't know what those numbers were. Oh, it's dead, I guess. Um, what do I do? Can't do anything. Oh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> that was remember. <laughs> interesting <laughs> okay <laughs> thanks for watching everyone uh i do love silly indie horror games all right i'll be back this weekend oh callie's having a sip rare footage of callie drinking um i will be back this weekend uh playing oh i shook a poop too i think <laughs> ignore that <laughs> Uh, I've got a couple games that I want to play. 
Um, I've actually got quite a lot on my list that I want to play this month. Um, so I think I'm going to start with this game called Faith, which is a fairly recent game. It's like an 8-bit horror game. I'm going to play that this weekend. And then I'm going to start on the System Shock remake. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, let me find someone to raid who's playing games. Oh, yeah, Sai's doing Subnautica. I don't know how much, how much longer he's going to be playing for, but let's give him a raid. There we go. All right. Goodbye, everyone. I love you. Thank you for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye. Uh, hello? Why, why is my... There it goes. Why is this keep happening?